I am off to the far northwest of Scotland, to a place called Dorney, famous for Ellen Donan Castle, a castle that almost featured in Game of Thrones, but got dumped after a pilot episode. So this intro is just rubbish, but it's all I've got. So here we go. I'm here at Aileen Castle, which features in the Game of Thrones, to help with a pool no further away than the throw of a stone. This former hotel in Dorney is undergoing restoration. The new owners are Swedish, run a publishing company, and want to hold conferences on moon colonisation. Yep, building on the moon. You couldn't write this stuff, and if you did, you'd never get a publishing company to touch it. Or maybe you would. Anyway, they also want an organic pool, which is more believable. But before we get thinking about pool design, I always like to have a look for local bodies of water. The nearby village of Balmakara. Despite the low water level due to the extraordinary summer drought this year, the pond still looks delightful. Stands of iris and heady scented meadow sweet framed within a wall crafted from local stone with a shallow batter into the bank. A few miles further and there are treasures to behold a wild swimmer. Coral beaches and fairy pools. Now it sounds like I've lost the plot again. But behold, sun-kissed splashes of turquoise and jade water lap upon a white coral beach. Named with a flourish of Scottish romanticism as Plockton. Thrown up by the currents, the beach is debris from a submerged world of reefs on the deep continental slopes of the Scottish west coast. Some coral reefs are more than 4,000 years old. Unlike tropical reef building corals, cold water corals can grow in the dark, in deep water. I think experiencing natural waterscapes like this may not directly influence any pool design. After all, how could you ever reproduce this? But it certainly refreshes our enchantment with water. let's look at the pool at ground control Dorney. In order to be less obtrusive, I've taken the precaution to dress as a cosmonaut. Okay, and here we are. Now, the owners live in this building here, and they want to be able to look out onto a nice organic pool. But this site has difficulties. One of them being this slope. It's quite a steep slope. And the other being trees. Now, these trees need to be preserved, so we're going to have to build well away from them. Now the roots normally extend as far as the branches, so we're probably talking about four meters. That means we end up with a quite a narrow area to build a pool. I reckon the regeneration zone along this side, like a two meter strip, this is the sunnier side, so the plants will be happier. And then a three meter wide swimming zone running alongside. And at the end, we make it into a nice organic shape. So the whole thing will look quite natural. So on the whole, this site is Difficult, but doable. The pool is going to be five foot deep, 1.5 meters. This will reduce the excavation and help it fit within the space. Concrete strip foundations are laid for the concrete block walls. The void behind the walls is filled with sand. It's all covered in a fleece underliner, then the liner. A decorative stone wall is made to retain the gravel layers for the plant regeneration zone and the inside top half of the swim zone. Circulation pipes and bubble pipes in a layer of gravel and above the growing substrate for the plants. In the margins we could have meadow sweet and a suitable launch pad. Now we're back on the road to Skye. Fed by the mountain tips scraping the clouds, streams have carved into the limestone, basins of shapes crafted by no human mason, but the magic of chemistry and friction. The fairy pools of Skye. 
I'm hoping they're letting goblins too. Well, here it goes, feels a bit cold. Very cold. The fairy pools have so many different individual pools, it's very difficult to stop jumping in. My obvious athleticism and graceful entries drew appreciation from a group of German hillwalkers. Enough to tempt one into the water. Fairy pools of sky have convinced me of the magic of bubbles and water. <laughs> 